Here's a breach of a big, big bore that I made a while back. It's been a lot of different things, kind of a test, test bed, test mule. Right now it's 51 caliber, and it'll do about as much power as you need. Uh, the way I've got this set up, with the bolt for loading the bullet, closing the breech, and then I've got another side lever here for cocking the hammer. Uh, I like to have, on big stuff like this, two separate operations so you can have the gun loaded but not cocked. You might be able to see here that the the barrel continues all the way back to the rear. So the bolt goes actually through both sides of the barrel. Now, the way you load the bullet with this, you take and push the bolt all the way forward. It's got a flat nose on the bolt. Seat the bullet home. Then you bring it back to expose the transfer port. Bring it back into the locking position. And when you do that, the bolt is spring-loaded and locks across. So that's in double shear. You've got it locked on both sides. Let me show you how that works again. The cross bolt drops about 3 sixteenths of an inch into a hole on the far side. And that way you know you've got it locked. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, you've got a visual lock, plus it's positively locked. This thing cannot pop out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and remove this cross bolt. I'm going to unscrew the entire assembly. I'm going to show you here, I don't know if you can see it down in the bottom, but there's a hole in the far side, about 3 sixteenths of an inch deep, on the other side of the bolt. The smaller diameter on the end, that pin goes into the far side. That pin is spring-loaded. This whole assembly is threaded through the bolt, and you can see that it's travel when you cock it, it's about 3 sixteenths of an inch, goes through all the way, you end up in double shear, plenty of strength, and I don't have any concerns about this popping out at all.